Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a little gingham box. I kind of see gingham and I think picnics. And so I thought picnics and then I thought ladybirds. Very sweet. And this is just a little box that opens like this. Uses six by six paper or 15 by 15 is what you to trim it down to if you're using metric. And it's rather charming. I'm not gonna get that bow back on there. And oh, Fauna's come to say hello. She hasn't been very well recently. Um, hopefully feeling a little bit better. Right, six by six paper. So like I say, this is um, this is a pack of paper and there are five colours and they are, where are we? Glorious Gingham. They are Berry Burst, Blueberry Bushel, Lemon Lime Twist, Pecan Pie and Pretty Peacock. So that's these ones down here. And it's Gingham on, well it's Gingham on, it's Gingham one side and check on the other, sort of it's a faded check, very pretty. Oh, she's gone off. To, she's gone to sleep on her curling, a cooling mat. Right, so I'm going to do the same colour, obviously, as my original one, but the other way round, just to see what this looks like. Okay, six by six inches. Like I say, if you work in metric, trim it down to fifteen by fifteen centimetres. And on the first side, because there's no right or wrong, score it at one inch, two and three quarters, three and three quarters and five and a half inches which in metric is two five seven no it's not it's two and a half seven nine and a half and fourteen centimeters then on the second side score it at one and five which is two and a half and twelve and a half and the finished size of it it is one inch by one and three quarters by four inches which is two and a half by four and a half by ten Okay, let's get this burnished. So, where are we at right now? It is 12th, 12th of July. So we are inside the bonus days promotion where for every £45 you spend, you will get a £4.50 coupon. So every £45 you spend in July, you get a £4.50 coupon that you can then redeem in August. And that's a 60 euro spend and you get a 6 euro voucher. And that's multiple, so if you spent £90 you would get £9 in vouchers. You'd, actually what you would get is two vouchers. Um, okay, right, I'm looking for this. So I've got an area that I don't know how well you can see. I've got a one inch, um, one and three quarters, one inch, one and three quarters, one inch, one and three quarters, and then a shallow bit. And so the shallow bit is all of that area to the right of it. That shallow crease and the bigger one, that one and that one, those two are taking away. You'll see it when I cut it. Okay. Um, yeah, so we've got that promotion going. We have got some online exclusives. Now, I'm told by my... Um, a demo ouch Ooh. ouch I've just grabbed these and they flipped up like that so I put my hand down on them <gasps> made it bleed I'm told by my demo family over in America that you've lost some of your online exclusives they've sold out already I believe here in Europe we still have everything yes that includes the incredible truck punch and stamp set trucking along I think it's called but I might not be writing that that really hurt these things are sharp anyway um so we've got some online online exclusives the clearance rack there's still quite a chunk of stuff in there there's a lot of um Christmassy stuff left from previous years um so yeah okay so can you see where I've scored uh, where I've cut now so these four squares I've wedged into them just to make the fold better and kept that one so that's two that I've taken from there one two okay and then just for speed purposes I'm going to use some seal mostly because I don't know where my seal plus has gone <laughs> genuinely don't know where it's gone uh, we're just going to build it up into a box this is such a simple little box and I love the gingham um, here in the UK primary school age children which are the age of oh, four until they are 11 that's primary school um, 
the girls' summer uniform is often gingham. And depending on which school you're at, as to which colour it was. When I was at primary school, it was green. I had a green, a green gingham dress. Um, so that's fun. And that's completely random. Okay, I'm looking for... Oh, what did, what did I do with my white ribbon? Oh, it's to the left of me. Okay, so this is... What's this called? Herringbone ribbon. And it's just basic white. And there is a very fine pattern. I don't know if you can see it. Possibly not. I don't know that it's going to focus that close. Can you see that herringbone? It's not hugely visible, which is not a bad thing. I don't mind that. Okay. So let me cut some of that off with these dangerous, dangerous scissors. Oh, that hurts. And uh, tie a square knot here. So yeah, gingham dresses, and it, it would be the smaller pattern. I think it was just, that was the summer uniform. Whichever primary school you went to, mostly, you would have the option to have the summer dress. And yeah, mine was green when I was at primary school. and uh, A nice bottle green. And the school that my um, boys went to locally here was red. So, not very burst. Okay, so I've got my little ladybird on here. Um, Hello Ladybug is the stamp set. I'm not debating ladybirds and ladybugs this year. It's a ladybird bug. That's what it's called if you Google. Anyway, <laughs> my ladybird from my Hello Ladybug stamp set. Um, I need that bit, that bit and that bit. And... Uh, those are the only bits I need. I do love this stamp set. And I joke, I'm teasing when I say ladybug, ladybird. I know that it's a different thing. It's, it's a different thing. It's a, just a different way of saying the same thing. Um, I did have blocks out. I still have blocks out. One, two, three. That I didn't get on very well. So this is my punch that goes with it. So I'm just looking to see which way round it goes now my memento is questionable right now because i've had it stored for about three weeks so that's how long it's been since i used it the wrong way up so it went a bit dry so i've re-inked it and wish me luck that looks a little bit hairy no that's okay so i want that one i'm still undecided as to whether i think um let me get my berry burst out whether i think it's easier to do this part first and then add the dots spots or the other way around i i can't decide you see that's not very good let me try it this way around but arguably i can't actually get my head over the top very well you see that's not very good either let me try one more time Like I say, I think if I could get my head over the top of this, you're probably getting the top of my hair in. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> Look, I'll have that bit of that wing and that bit. It's fine. It's handmade. <clears throat> that's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. Okay, oh, my thumb hurts. Not doing very well, am I? Stabbing myself. I chipped my fingernail. Um chips the polish off the top so I have coloured it in. What did I use? I used oh berry burst. I used dark berry burst to colour in my chipped nail polish. Oh dear. Anyway right I'm going to go for this one that's closest to me. Um, I The thing I love about this stamp set um, I know that ladybirds are many and varied colours although I did see Today, somebody, um, was another demonstrator, posted that a ladybird had landed on her pink paper. And somebody said, be careful, that's not a Japanese beetle. They, um, they can bite. I've never heard of a Japanese beetle. So I went and Googled, um, you know, Japanese beetle versus ladybird. And yeah, they're very similar. But yeah, I do know that there are ladybirds in all sorts of different colours. But I've used my poetic licence, or creative licence, I should say, in the past. And um, I've had many colours. Colours that probably aren't there in nature, but that's okay. So I used some mini glue dots to 
um, put the wings on. So, um, and then some three, uh, some dimensionals on the back, and that is my little gingham picnic basket inspired gift tree box. And that slipped. Oh, there we go. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Let's see if I can get this back on for photos. Maybe I'll take the photo first with it open and then close it. But yeah, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.